<clears throat> this is the Threshold Dungeon in North Hollywood, California. It's a kink playground for over 500 members, and on this particular day, yours truly. I was invited by Count Boogie to take an experiential tour and go through a dozen BDSM scenes as his submissive. Starting with the lobby where we sat down fully clothed, no contact to discuss any pertinent medical conditions, my emotional triggers, sexual boundaries, safety including how we communicate with each other, and expectations. What we wanted from the experience, we're willing to do even if it wasn't ideal and the hard limits. No body fluids. No body fluids. So is it okay if I cut off all your hair? Say Ask no. Ask me at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> in the no. moment, it might be great. <laughs> then Count Boogie invited me into a larger play space where kink equipment of all flavors was laid out on tables. Whips, chains, paddles, restraints, and clamps, a Wartenberg wheel, and a violet wand. I selected my preferences, then stood compliantly as the Count buckled me into soft leather cuffs and attached my wrist to a St. Andrew's cross. All right, these are called floggers right here. Mm. And what they do is provide a wide range of sensations from a nice thuddy to a nice stingy. My job as a guest and model bottom was to let him do this, submit and obey. Keeping in mind, I could use my safe words, red for stop and yellow for caution, anytime I felt unwilling. This is me being bound in braided rope to a suspension winch. While restrained, Count Boogie explored my erotic interest in the violet wand, a low current, high voltage electrical stimulation. So what it does is it creates an electrical charge and ignites the gas that's in this ball. And when I put it against your skin, the electricity goes straight into you, but when I pull it a little bit away, the electricity is trying to find a ground to go to, and it makes a zap like that. On my skin, it was painless, but pulled slightly away from my breast, that's when I got shocked. A little tickly? Mm. It's not my favorite sensation. A lot of BDSM dungeon culture is about sensations, physical and psychological. Count Boogie just placed my hands on this web unrestrained, and yet there's still a sensation of being trapped. I know Boogie isn't going to touch me with the whip, but its crack still causes me to flinch. And similarly, the sharp blade of this large knife across my chest can evoke all sorts of thoughts and feelings. I had to trust that without my mouth, the use of my hands, or the ability to run away, Count Boogie cared about my well-being and was never going to hurt me without consent. I also trusted that he was trained in all of these techniques, that he knew how to rub oil onto my skin before wax play and what temperature the wax needed to be. He knew the delicacy of cupping, how to create a suction without rupturing blood vessels, and how to light me on fire. Being bound, disciplined, dominated, and beaten at the Threshold Dungeon was an enlightening three-hour process. I got to revisit familiar experiences and open myself to new ones. As the Threshold website states, we are all new at one point, and many of us were nervous about what to expect, so our goal is to empower Empower you with an understanding of threshold kink and BDSM. Whether you ever visit and or participate in what dungeons have to offer, stay curious. I want to give my warmest thanks to Threshold and their team. It was an amazing experience, completely consensual, really fun to play with them. If you're in California, specifically Los Angeles, please check them out.